Being Erica. All new this Wednesday at 11, only on SoapNet. I don't believe this. Jill, what the hell are you doing here? Faith wanted your photograph of Dad. Roger, I knocked when you, when you didn't answer the door. I just assumed you weren't home, so I used the pass key. You have no right to assume anything. I wouldn't sneak into your apartment, Jill. I did not sneak. The only sneaking that's been done has been by you and Dee. And apparently there's been a considerable amount of that. This is none of your business. Oh, you would take that tact, Roger. I mean, you think that you can do any rotten, despicable thing you want to when it only concerns you. I am fully aware of your opinion of me. Which happens to be grounded on fact. I mean, all your life, Roger, it's been take, 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 and the hell with the consequences. I mean, the whole world revolves solely around the personal gratification of Roger Coleridge. Oh, boy. You want to gamble? So you gamble. And it doesn't matter if you have to lie and cheat and blackmail to pay your debts. And then you want to play around with somebody else's wife? So you play around. And who cares what happens to everybody else? Now, you wait just one minute. I am not playing around. It's not like that at all. And I'm not surprised that that's the way you look at it. You have always interpreted everything I've ever done in the worst possible light. Because that's the way I see it, Roger. Yes, as you see it. As you twist it. Just like you're twisting my relationship with Delia and choosing to look at it as some kind of cheap affair. Well, what else is it but cheap and utterly inexcusable? You want to talk facts, Jill? I never pass judgment on your affair with Frank Ryan like that. How dare you compare the two? All I'm saying is that you have never given me the benefit of the doubt. No one has. And when no one was even speaking to me, Delia was the only person that brought me kindness and affection. And I responded to that, to her warmth and her concern, and not to some whim just to play around. Oh, Roger, your ability to rationalize borders on genius. I mean, you're an innocent victim in all this, right? I mean, everybody that you heard conspired to push you smack into bed with Dee. Well, let me tell you something. You may buy that, but don't delude yourself that anybody else will. Especially Frank. All right, Jill. Let's just be reasonable. We are all adults here, and what's happened has happened. And there's no need to make matters worse. Oh, Roger. You don't expect this all to remain your little secret. I mean, do you have any conception of what a mess this is? Oh, boy. I am just glad that Dad was spared the knowledge of this. I mean, to now know that you have committed adultery with Frank Ryan's wife. That was pretty low. Which brings me to you, Dee. turns a blind eye. Everyone knows EJ and Taylor can't stand each other. To an affair that's gone too far. I'm in love with Taylor. But will it be EJ that ends up brokenhearted? Taylor Walker shot you down. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. This week, The View is back live with a powerhouse of shows. Eva Longoria, The Real Housewives of New York. Keanu Reeves with James Caan. Plus, Red, White, and View with Jesse Ventura and Mike Huckabee. This week on All New Views, only on ABC. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? 
Really? You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiets. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned to eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets, eat great food, and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food, one week of weight loss, one week of success, free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. Morning, boss man. Right. Thanks, Rita. Oh, uh, no thanks necessary. Deliveries are my specialty. You know, I cannot believe what a breeze that was the other day. You did a good job, partner. <laughs> An Academy Award performance, huh? May I have the envelope, please? I mean, that's what it reminded me of. You give me an envelope with money to give to a guy down on the dock who gives me a bag with five packages of grass. I go to the dealers. They give me five more envelopes with a nice round sum of $10,000 inside. For best performance in a supporting role, having earned $2,000 commission, Rini Zabo. Bravo. Rini, you've got it. You got the nerve to pull the operation off and the cool to enjoy it. I think you're going to work out very nicely. <laughs> Count on it. You know that guy down in the village? He almost fell through the floor when he found out that I was there to make the delivery. Uh -huh. I mean, he said, you look like you should be selling Girl Scout cookies rather than handling grass. On the outside, a picture of innocence. Inside, one smart Girl Scout cookie. Are we going to be raking it in like this every month? Yeah, sometimes more often, depending on the shipping schedules. Oh, it can't be too often for me. Of course... More deliveries means more risks. Um, Sam, what would happen if I got caught? Don't even consider it. That'd be really bad news. It isn't like being picked up with a few joints, you know. This is a heavy scene, and that overnight case could have you in a slammer for a very long time. Don't ever underestimate the risk and the need to be super cautious. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. And there's something else you better understand right now and never forget. I'm not paying you all that money out of generosity. You're getting 20% for two reasons. First, because of the risk, and second, because if you should ever get caught, I expect you to keep your mouth shut. You keep my name out of it, is that clear? Oh, yeah, sure, I understand, Sam. Hey, listen, we don't have to do this. Nothing is going to go wrong. I mean, I am going to see to it. Oh, all that money, and I know just what to do with it. I'm going to get my own apartment with a terrific view overlooking the river and all those wonderful goodies that go with it. Right, Sam? Wrong, Rainy. What do you mean? Handle your money so no one asks questions about where it comes from. That means a very low profile. No bank accounts with big deposits that you might have to explain to the Internal Revenue Office. And definitely no apartment that you cannot afford on your regular salary. Oh, come on. On my gopher salary, I mean, I can only afford a park bench. Then you have to get used to sleeping at home. I mean it, Rini. Splurging is out. What you do with the money is that you stash it away in a safe deposit box so that nobody knows that you, or that, than you, that the cash is there. Oh, a fat lot of good it does you there. I don't mean you can't use any of it. Just don't run out and buy things in wholesale lots. Expensive clothes acquired over a period of time, okay? So that nobody notices. Besides, Rini, your father's no dope. 
I don't want him sneaking around. I guess I don't have much choice. And last but not least, there is Mary Ryan. Mary Ryan, the eyes and ears of the world. Don't make the mistake of dismissing her lightly. She's smart as a whip. I will guarantee you, Sam, that I can keep the wool pulled over Mary Ryan's eyes with no problem at all. You know, Roger's part in all of this doesn't much surprise me, Dee. But you really have betrayed Frank in the worst way. What did I do that Frank didn't do? What do you think? You're so high and mighty. When you were fooling around with Frank, did anyone say, oh, poor Delia, poor Delia's being betrayed? Dee, we are not fooling around now. I mean, that is over and done. It's past history. And it has nothing to do with what's going on now. Well, what's going on now has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, it does. Because Frank and I put aside all our plans for a future together so that he could make a sincere effort to preserve your marriage. My marriage wouldn't have to be saved if you didn't try to take him away from me oh, in the first place. Oh, come on, Dee, stop it. It would have been so easy for me to take Frank away from you. But I didn't. Because wrong as you were for him, you were his wife. And ultimately, whatever happened to your marriage had to be the result of a relationship between the two of you, free from any outside interference. So at a cost that you could never, never begin to understand. I gave Frank up. It was very generous of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. And you know why? Because the one thing that I wanted most in the whole wide world was to spend the rest of my life with Frank Ryan. But I denied myself that, thinking that you would at least try to save your marriage. I tried! No, you didn't. No, you complained and you whined. And when you didn't get what you wanted at home, you went someplace else. I mean, all that sacrifice for this... Now, come on, I mean, Jill! I for you to have an affair with the one person that hurt Frank the most. I mean, Dee, how could you do that? I mean, don't you care about Frank at all? I love Frank. Things haven't been easy for me. Oh, so you thought that you'd make them easier by jumping into bed with Roger? How incredibly stupid you are, Dee. That's enough. I mean, you would risk a few stolen hours with Roger, the one person who has always thought only about himself. I don't know. I mean, look, if you think for one minute that I'm getting any personal satisfaction from all of this, you are mistaken. It makes me sick. You know, maybe you two really do deserve each other after all. Roger, look, I'll just take this photograph of Dad. And I'll give you the passkey. And then you can have perfect privacy at all times. And you can do any odious thing that you choose. What are you going to do, Jill? I don't know. I'm so scared. What do you think? I think we both have reason to be scared. I think she's going to tell Frank. She's not breathing. Oh, God. My daughter's dead. She passed out before I could tell her. Someone left her in my squad car. There she is. If she ever finds out the truth, it's going to kill us. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Your soup and sandwich combo. Enjoy. For when you want your favorite cafe to be your own kitchen. Stouffer's Stuffed Melts and Soups like Creamy Tomato Bisque, served with a three cheese and ham stuffed melt. Two cafe favorites in one package in three varieties. Are you ready to be moved with color that moves? Meet the one and only Feria by L'Oreal. Hair color so shimmering, it's the end of dull and flat. So multidimensional, blacks jet with bold tones of blue and reds ignite with flares of copper. Make your move. L'Oreal's Feria. Are you a 24-7 mom? Know someone who is? Go to esterc.com and enter the 24-7 mom contest. You could win a cruise, spa treatments, housekeeping. Enter at esterc.com. 24-7 moms deserve Ester C, the better vitamin C. What brought you to eHarmony? Whatever the eHarmony system or the scientific formula, I never had that instant connection with anyone else. Never. Never. Ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> <laughs> Review your matches free at eHarmony.com. 
are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Zucky Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Hey, you know, I read somewhere that this loud music that you kids listen to nowadays can actually make you lose some of your hearing. Well, I still have enough of mine so I could hear a knock on the door if somebody were courteous enough to give it. All right, all right, next time I'll knock. You satisfied? Mm. Hey, hey, you could really fool me. The way you're keeping this room, you'd never think it was the same girl who used to come home from boarding school and inside of one hour have it look like a tornado struck. Boy, the bed's actually made up, the pillows are plumped, no candy wrappers, uh, no curlers on the table. <laughs> Boy, you can actually see the chairs because there are no clothes on them. It's very beautiful, I'm proud of you. Okay, okay, I'm neat. Hey, what's the matter? I come in here to say hello and ask how your day was or you practically bite my head off. What's the matter, the, the job's not working out? Oh, I don't have any complaints about the job, it's the pay. I mean, I can't even begin to swing the rent on an apartment. Apartments again? Daddy, look, I'm not in boarding school anymore. I don't want some old bedroom. I want a place of my own. Couldn't I talk you into financing one for me? I mean, you wouldn't have to pay the whole rent. All you'd have to pay is the part that my salary wouldn't cover. No apartments, Rini, no way. I mean, don't you see I love you, and that's why I want you here with me? Under your thumb, yeah. Look, Rainey, I got my responsibilities as a father, but that doesn't mean I want you under my thumb. It does mean that I want to take care of you and I want to watch out for you. I mean, do you know what goes on in, a, in apartment hallways and elevators these days? I don't want any of that stuff happening to you, and I can't just see it my way, just a little. Maybe. All right, that's better. Hey, listen, you want a special piece of furniture? Uh, I'll get it for you. You don't like the colors of the room? I'll, I'll redo it. What do you say? Listen, I think maybe, Daddy, that we can uh, reach a compromise. First, I would like the outside lock on this door changed, and I would like the gate to the street unlocked so I could have my own personal entrance. Oh, uh, you want to come in that way? Well, that's no problem. I'll, uh, I'll get a uh, uh, locksmith over. He'll do what he has to do to make it burglar-proof. Oh, great. Uh -huh. And next, I want an inside lock on this door that leads to the rest of the house. Oh, now, wait and a minute. I want the freedom to entertain whoever I choose, whenever I choose. Rini, this is no compromise. It is so. I mean, I would be at home where you want me, and we would see each other all the time, and you wouldn't have to worry about me getting mugged or something else in an apartment. Oh, building. no, but I would worry what was going on down here behind locked doors. Look, I'm an adult. I just want to be able to have people in and not worry about whether you're going to come barging in without so much as a knock. No, you look. I don't want any guys like Leo traipsing around this place. You wouldn't mind Dr. Bucky Carter stopping by for a visit? Oh, come on, Rini. I don't know. I, mean, I, I really don't know what to make of all this. Daddy, trust me. I'll be good, I promise. And anyway, I cannot entertain Bucky here, who is definitely nervous about girls, if every time he goes to take my hand, he glances at the door, afraid that you're going to come in. Well, OK. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Now, mind you, it is not the same as my own apartment, but I will settle for it. And I promise you that I will not do anything that you would be ashamed of. You better not, because I got the feeling I've just been sandbagged. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm saving my sandbagging for Bucky. Oh? Well, uh, how's that going? <laughs> nicely, nicely. Thank you very much. Oh, we were on his houseboat the other night, and I finally got over the big hurdle of his money. <laughs> you know, how, how it would be a terrible responsibility. And just thank oh. goodness I didn't have to cope with the problems that it would cause him. Oh, thank goodness for that. Now, I'm going to step up my routine. 
Oh, yeah? What are you planning to do? Oh, I'm going to start very simply by, uh, telling him how handsome he is. I mean, in my knowledgeable opinion and with my vast, uh, research, it's a definite killer. That corny line? You gotta be kidding. Any guy would see right through it. Oh, well, maybe you would, Daddy. I mean, you don't need your confidence built up by flattery. I mean, you know, every morning you look in the mirror, you see what a strong, rugged face you got. Oh. Somebody would have to be a fool to want to get to you by telling you that, you, you know, you're a dynamic, handsome man. That would be, that would be pointing out the obvious. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, you little scamp. Are you playing your old man for a sucker, aren't you? <laughs> Works every time. Oh, no. Daddy, you are handsome, and I mean it. Hey, you're my little doll. Mm. Just wait till your little doll plays the trick on Bucky. You know, I get the distinct impression he thinks that uh, girls don't relate to him very well. But not me. I'm gonna relate and relate <laughs> and relate. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. 95% of all Americans aren't getting enough whole grain. But actually, it's easier than you think, because General Mills' Big G line of cereals is America's number one source of whole grain at breakfast. There's whole grain in every box. From Chex, to Cheerios, to Lucky Charms. So you can get the whole grain you want with the taste you love. Get started on the whole grain you're missing with your favorite Big G cereals. Make sure to look for the white check. Here's the trouble with most anti-wrinkle creams. The cream disappears, but your wrinkles don't. Introducing Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. It has the fastest retinol formula available. In fact, it's clinically proven to smooth wrinkles in just one week. So all you have to do is sit back and watch your wrinkles go away. New Rapid Wrinkle Repair from Neutrogena. This marriage is a farce. Now that she's an Abbott. I'm joining Abby in her lawsuit. Let the battle begin. We're going to war. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. <gasps> she's not breathing. Oh, God. My daughter is dead. She passed out before I could tell her. Someone left her in my squad car. There she is. If she ever finds out the truth, it's going to kill her. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. It's time, Erica. Choose a door. Choices. They are life's constant. Anything is possible, right? The choice to be brave. I have breast cancer. The choice to turn back. I feel like I'm way out of my league. But when life doesn't turn out the way you hoped... Something awful is going to happen here. Am I dead? You wonder, did you ever really have a choice? Am I married? No one gets to see their future. That's not how this works. The shocking new season. I need to know! Being Erica. All new Wednesdays at 11. Only on SoapNet. The people you least suspect will betray you. On General Hospital, Damien Spinelli has seen it all. Spinelli? <gasps> Damien Spinelli is a man of action. The Jackal has solved many mysteries. <laughs> and now he tells all. It's true, I, I'm writing a novel. You're writing a book. It's the book everyone in Port Charles didn't want published. Mm. At least the names have been changed to protect the guilty. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli. Available April 5th at abc.com and wherever books are sold. to explain. I really don't think any explanation is necessary, do you? I think the whole situation just speaks for itself. No, I don't think so, really. I want to tell you how Roger Look, and I saw it. it's not going to do you any good. 
So you might as well save your breath and leave right five now. Five minutes. Five minutes. I don't think that's too much to ask when my whole marriage is at stake. Well, you should have thought about your marriage. I thought right. about my marriage. I've done nothing but think about my marriage. But because of you, my marriage was never real. Oh, come on, Dee. I am not going to sit here and listen to recriminations. For months, you haven't done nothing but picked on me every chance you got. I'm not going to listen to any more. Look, I don't want to blame you. I just want to tell you how it was. Really, Frank loved you. He never even came close to me. I mean, do you know what it feels like to be married to someone and feel like a piece of furniture? Amelia, attention is a two-way street. I mean, you're always thinking about your needs and yourself, but what about Frank? When Frank was home, he was wishing he was with you. And when Frank wasn't home, he was at meetings for the city council. He was gone hours and hours, and I hardly saw him. Jill, I was all alone. Frank had everything. Career, friends, he had a whole life that didn't even include me. Now, what did I have? I had little John. Now, I love my baby, but what kind of a marriage is it if, if you're just a mother and you're shut out as a wife? It, it was so frustrating because I was home all the time, and the only person I could talk to was my child. Oh, Delia, Ryan's is hardly Bleak House. Roger was the only person who realized what I was going through. He was sweet. I mean, he even made me laugh. For the first time in months, I was actually having fun. Obviously, Dee. The bed part was the least of it. Look, I didn't want that to happen. It just happened. Raj and I started this whole thing at the lowest point in my marriage. Really, I was hopeless. I was just hopeless. So I told him. I told Roger, but... Well... I can't do anything about it. It isn't very easy. You know, Roger seldom makes anything easy for anybody. I never would have gone over there today if he wasn't so insistent. You see, I'm fond of him. And I know he's been through a lot of awful things. And I don't want to hurt him. But I love Frank. And I want to save my marriage. Even if you didn't come over today. Really, I was going to break it off with him, but I, I had to do it gradually. Jill, I had to do it gradually so that he would get used to it. Now, you see how important it is that you don't say anything. All right, I'm asking for personal reasons. I admit that. But it'll just kill me if you tell Frank. Dee, you would manage. I have. I'm not like you. You know, you have everything. But finally, Frank and I have a chance to find happiness, and I don't want to lose that chance. Well, like you said, it's all your personal reasons, and I could care less about them. Okay, well, forget about me, then. What about Frank? A second scandal would ruin his political career. It would also ruin his entire life. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to humiliate Maven Johnny? Jill, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please don't tell. For my family, for the sake of my baby, even for Roger. Look, I'll get down on my knees. Please don't. Then what do you want? Bedelia, I have heard you out. And right now, the only thing that I can say is that I will take the matter under advisement. What does that mean? That means that I'll think about it. That means goodbye, Dee. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.